by Yurasksarmanau, Associated Press Minsk, Belarus. Authorities in Belarus on Wednesday resumed detentions of protesters who keep taking to the streets to demand the resignation of authoritarian President Alexander Lukashenko, as opposition leaders ratchet up pressure on the government by forming a coordination council to push for for a new election. Several dozen people were detained in front of the Minsk tractor factory, where workers have been on strike since Monday, Sergei Dileski, leader of the factory's strike committee, told the Associated Press. The country's interior ministry said in a statement that police detained only two protesters and pushed the remaining crowd aside. The new detentions come after days of peaceful protests, which police didn't interfere with. They also came hours before the first meeting of the opposition's coordination council, which was formed to facilitate peaceful transition of power and denounced by Lukashenko as an attempt to seize power in the country. Lukashenko, who last week won his sixth term in office with 80% of votes in an election widely seen as rigged, blasted the opposition again on Wednesday for creating alternative government bodies and warned them they may be prosecuted for it. If someone thinks that the government bent down and teetered, you're mistaken, Lukashenko said at a meeting with security officials. We will not waver. Earlier this week, opposition leader Sviatlana Tikhanovskaya has called on European leaders not to recognize fraudulent elections that extended Lukashenko's rule. I call on you not to recognize these fraudulent elections. Mr. Lukashenko has lost all the legitimacy in the eyes of our nation and the world, Tikhanovskaya said in a video statement. A former English teacher who united fractured opposition groups and drew tens of thousands to rally in her support, the 37-year-old Tikhanovskaya got only 10% of votes in the election, according to official results. She dismissed the results as falsified and demanded a recount, but then suddenly left the country for Lithuania in a move her campaign said was made under duress. On Monday, Tikhanovskaya said she was ready to act as a national leader to facilitate a rerun of the election, and her associates announced the formation of a coordination council to help create a platform for a peaceful transition of power. I have initiated the National Coordination Council of Belarus. It will lead the process of a peaceful transition of power via dialogue. It will immediately call for new fair and democratic presidential elections with international supervision, Tikhanovskaya said in the latest video statement. Lukashenko repeatedly rejected demands to step down and bristled at the idea of talks with the opposition, denouncing the Coordination Council on Tuesday as a, an attempt to seize power, in the country. Nevertheless, the council is set to convene for the first time Wednesday.